take a nickel and flip it on its side. That's how much water it takes to make your car hydroplane. One twelfth of an inch. When it starts raining, you have to pick the right speed for right now. That's the nice way of saying slow down from Craig Smith, owner of Dry Right Driving School. Anything over 35 miles an hour, you're probably water skiing in your car. You are five times more likely to get into a crash during wet weather. So here are things to look out for to alert you to take caution. Look for any standing water on the road. If it's raining, is the water splashing or rippling? If yes, it's enough to lose traction. Listen for water sloshing under your tires. That means there's too much water that your tires can't push away. And if the steering wheel starts pulling in another direction, you're hydroplaning. Hold your wheel steady, maintain the direction you're heading, and release the gas to regain control. If you need to pull off the road because the rain is too much, get as far off the road as possible. Preferably at the next exit or thoroughfares like Clinton, Chapman, or Asheville highways have parking lots you can pull into. If you can't exit the highway, you can get behind a guardrail. Once you're safe, then turn on your flashers. But if you're going to power through rainy conditions, keep your hazard lights off. Leave your regular lights on. Uh, don't run your hazard flashers if you're going down the road. If you feel like you need to have your hazard flashers, get all the way over somewhere safe and turn them on. Smith has an acronym that can keep you safe in any bad road condition. Read the road. R, right speed for right now, so slow down on messy roads. E, eyes up, brain on. Put away distractions and stay alert. A, anticipate their next move, referring to the cars around you. And D, donut of space. Surrounding yourself with space can give you the time you need for fast decisions. Out of Knoxville, I'm Tavian Whitehurst.